Greetings. Great Grebo here. I am going to review my Panda PAN760SF 3.75 cubic foot compact laundry dryer that I use in my 500 square foot apartment. So let's see if this thing is Great Grebo approved. All right. All right, guys, here is the, I guess you could call it the control panel of my Panda portable 3.75 cubic foot, um, 110 volt, like I said, portable dryer that I use in my apartment. Um, for the short yellow bus people, it's color coded, so blue means cool, red means hot, orange means warm. The green means air dry. Um, I'm not going to go into the specifics if you don't know the difference between warm and air dry. God bless you. Um, and there's a low heat and a high heat setting. Out is low heat, in is high heat. Um, and then, of course, the, the amount of time you want the dryer to run it. Um, is, so if I want to do something on a, a warm setting, I would need to turn it over 20 minutes all the way up to the 120 minute mark. If I am drying jeans, let's say, um, I, I need to turn it up past 120 minutes, um, there is no way to run it at high heat and have the timer or, you know, set for only 20 minutes. So I would suggest doing what I do, which is setting, um, the, the timer on my phone. So it goes off because I have once before turned it up to 130, 140 minutes here to dry some jeans and I forgot and I didn't set the timer on my phone and by the time I got in here the thing had been running for over two hours and those jeans were dry trust me like the Sahara and it's a huge waste of electricity so um, I've not noticed a huge difference between the low heat and high heat that the up on the high setting high seems to be high on the warm um, the difference between the low and the high setting it, it feels like it dries slightly cooler when you're on the low heat setting um, I tend to leave it just on the high heat setting. I'm not that picky. I mean, I'm using a portable dryer in a 500 square foot apartment. Let's not overthink this, guys. All right, folks, I'm sitting here with my new Panda portable 3.75 cubic foot um, dryer, which I use in my 500 square foot apartment. So the first thing you need to do is make sure it's plugged in. It is. Uh, uh, it has a, a grounding prong, so it's a three-prong plug-in. It's 110. Use it anywhere you want. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I have my clothes that I have uh, spun dry in my Panda um, spin dryer. I've reviewed that before. So um, normally I would hang these things up to dry. That's kind of more my style, but let's say I need to get these done. So I've got some towels I'm throwing in here, a blue wife beater man panties, some socks, and uh, a wash rag. So it's not even really a full load. Um, I have some pajamas in here, but they need to be actually be hung up to dry. So I'm not gonna throw them in this. But as you can see, this thing is, it's big. It's nearly the size of a coin-op laundromat's dryer and a heck of a lot cheaper to use. So um, these things I'm gonna dry on high heat. So I'm gonna turn it up here to, oh, you know, 160 minutes. Am I actually going to dry it for two hours and 40 minutes? No. Um, but we've already had that discussion as to how the control panel works. So um, if one of the things you, you can do is I need to take that. There's a little vent. I vent it outside of my apartment. Um, you don't have to. There are little boxes you can buy so it vents inside your apartment. It's kind of whatever floats your boat. So I've got the... Uh, the the dryer vent venting out the window no big deal i've got this set at oh well, close to 160 minutes i need to set the timer on my phone so i just close this thing and uh away she goes and we'll see how long it takes for these to dry and uh i'll film that too all right quick video of the dryer vent um, out the window. As you can see, it just attaches to the back of the unit and you just uh, open the window and vent it out that way. 
you don't have to, that's the way I do it. All right, this thing has been running for, uh, I messed up. Uh, it's been running for about 35 minutes. I don't think it needed to run that long, but here we are. So yeah, 30, yeah, 35 minutes and everything is bone dry. Did not need to run it that long. I wasn't paying attention. One thing you will need to do after every time you use the dryer, if the little dryer lint um, doohickey, for lack of a proper term, that comes to, I can't think right now what these are called, the dryer lint screen. Um, there you go. You just clean it out. Super simple. Put it back together like that. And it just pops right back in there. And there we go. That is how, and then when I'm done, I just turn it back to the off position, but there we go. My new Panda Portable, 3.75 cubic feet, 110 volt uh, portable dryer. And uh, I don't know if I gave the dimensions, can't remember, but it's about 27 inches deep by mm, 27 inches high. Uh, in the same way, so it's it is it's about 27 by 27 and then like 27 and a half deep It is it is not very large at all as you can see I can hug it just like this. So, um, yeah This bad boy great Grebo approved two thumbs up um, I got mine at amazon.com Let the haters hate I love amazon.com